Hello, everybody, and welcome in to the final conference championship game of season 13 here in the SFA. We've got number two, East Carolina, 11 and 1, taking on Clemson, number one, 12 and 0. As always, let me know if you can hear me. And if you haven't been here before, welcome into the SFA. You, you're in for a treat if this is your first game you've ever seen. This is a online dynasty ran through. Uh, Discord, Twitch, and YouTube. You can claim a team, you can set your playbooks, your depth charts, your schemes, and then you can recruit players. We also have tons of different kind of server games that can help you in recruiting, and we do all sorts of other fun stuff uh, together. Watch real sports, play video game, whatever it may be, there's somebody with a shared interest with you in there, and uh, feel free to join. We have commands, we have uh, links in any of the descriptions, and we have like 90 active coaches, so feel free to hop on in and join the fun, and as always, if you are watching live, you might run into ads as we are affiliated, so feel free to drop a Twitch Prime. It is free if you do have Amazon Prime, and uh, and it greatly helps um, everybody in the server, as if you do win a national championship, I will send you an actual trophy to your house along with some merch and who will that merch be from ask uh, be from well our friends over at home field we are an affiliate for the by far the best uh, collegiate apparel in the game over 180 schools to choose from not just football and uh and feel free to check them out. You can use code SFA and get 15% off. They are also running all sorts of holiday deals throughout December. So make sure you are using that code or using our affiliate link. You can use the code once per um, once per email. Uh, yes, our Secret Santa video will be out here um, hopefully in the next couple of days. I just have to make it. I have all this stuff saved on my phone. But we're here for the ACC Championship, the battle for the number one seed in the 12-team playoff. This means one team will get a bye. One team will have to play an extra game in the first round. So this game is going to be massive. Shout out to Moon, gifting a sub. Shout out, giving it to our brand new user. Um, and yeah, this is a game for the ages. You've got the best program in SFA history, Clemson, taking on East Carolina, one of the best G5 programs, moved up to the ACC this year, but they are known for choking. In Season 10, they choked against Middle Tennessee State in Week 15. In Season 11, they wide left from the 30-yard line uh, against Baylor in the CFP. Last year, we had a 21-3 lead against Buffalo, two, two defensive touchdowns, the rest is history, and this is my team. Anytime ECU is on stream, you know it's going to be a fun time for you guys, not for me. So let's get on into it here. This is going to be a massive battle, and this is honestly, you know, this you could see this being a national championship um, uh, matchup. So we're going to start out with the team that's designated on the road, the lower seed, East Carolina. Their only loss this year coming to North Carolina, their arch rivals in a Week 14 game. This is a team that is struggling over the last couple of weeks as they struggled to beat Missouri, a two-win team in overtime. So they are stumbling into this game, whereas Clemson, like they always are, a well-oiled machine all the way through. So starting out, Christian Richard, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, insane progression, insane regular season. He is a finalist for the Heisman, but he likes to play hero ball sometimes he doesn't stick to the system he doesn't hand the ball off to vanilla vic and then all of a sudden we get in trouble in the third quarter and lose games so we'll see what he does here vanilla vic he was if you guys are the fantasy playoffs were uh were are starting this week well he was last year's fantasy reward vanilla vic named after daniel jones winning me that uh that trophy last season in the last week, he is the running back, and he is who you saw on the game day overlay. One of the best runners in the country. Always breaks off big runs. We will have to see him in action. And uh, wide receivers, very deep group. We got James Neal, and then Ryan DeBose, and Alex Kilpatrick, and then Mario Thurman also plays a large part. So none of them are elite, but all of them good speed, can make big plays down the field. And then at tight end, Dusty Dukes. He's turned into a really good progression or possession receiver. Vlad Sexton is redshirted. He'll be here next year. And then on the offensive line, you got Gene Williams on the left tackle. Jackie Claude, the SFA player. You've got Gene Dallas, the center. You've got Pat Brown, the right guard. And K 
Caden Sanker, the redshirt freshman on the right tackle, one of the more complete lines in the country. And on defense, it's going to be Josiah Bird, the freshman. He is starting there. On the right side, Blake Womack, the SFA player. He has come into his own in his sophomore season. And in the middle, you got the senior, Leslie Stirrups and Theodore Chon. This is one of the teams in the SFA that has the most SFA players. At left, outside linebacker, Dexter Glasscock. In the middle, Jordy Drake as a senior. He was a two-star player. And then right outside linebacker, I believe, Charles Spencer. I don't know. I think... Dexter Glasscock plays there, and Spencer plays left outside linebacker. I don't remember what I put. But then you got out wide, Mickey Flames, the SFA player, named after Jay Jettas. You got J.R. Swain, who always seems to get a pick. He can play wide receiver as well. And then this is the big one, folks. The redshirt senior, Charlie McCoy, I believe is going to be out. I think he is still injured. So what does that mean? That means Mike Wilson is going to be pushed into playing time. And then if they go wide, empty set, John Cole might have to be on the field. So how is this depth going to play in the secondary? And then Sam Linston, the junior redshirt free safety. And on the other side, you got Clint Kubiak, the senior, longtime player. Quinn Travers is redshirted. So, and then kicker Josh Anderson has been, uh, he's not playing. It's Martin Robinson who's kicking on both sides. So there is the mighty East Carolina team. And we're going to take a look at Clemson now. And Clemson has the Heisman leader quarterback, Walter Hearn. He got injured a couple of times last year and lost him. He was in that race with Arch Manning, and he kind of choked in uh, Nate Robinson, and he got hurt, and he was out of it. So he is back. And with that dreadful performance from EJ Irons in the SEC Championship, all of a sudden, Walter Hearn or... or uh, or Richard, all of a sudden, may be going head-to-head -to -head today to see who wins that award. And then in the backfield, this is very interesting because Omar Woods has missed a large portion of the season um, due to injury. And so all season long, we've seen Corey Cross take the load. But all of a sudden, Omar Woods is back. So the question is, how are they going to split the time between these running backs? And then at wide receiver, we've seen them before. Jeff Keys, Trent Fresh, uh, Freeman are the two top um receiving threats and then you got kevin hill dewan sims and ryan hubbard we'll see what they do drew stoey sfa player probably will not get on the field today um if you're watching he's probably gonna be in the transfer portal wink wink moving on to tight end we got jason walker the junior michael rust sophomore and then luke turner may or may not play in this game and then you got Jay gibson left guard you got shane ashley in the middle bill bo berkman the sfa player and then right tackle is DJ Moody. So once again, a very good line. But their weakness here is going up against Josiah Bird, the star freshman. So we'll see if uh, Josiah Bird can make that a mismatch. On defense, Josh Harris on one end, BJ Morris on the other, and Riley Magnusum. He has taken over uh, with, with the graduating of Martin Black is the iconic player on this defense. Ryland Magnusum, can he make the plays? He's gotten a few critical sacks this season. Let's see what he does today. At left outside linebacker, you got Pat Simmons. You got Aaron Fine in the middle. And Sean Lambert is the key player. Um, this is a defense that definitely has regressed a bit from those uh, national championship winning teams. Remember that Clemson is the only team in the SFA with two national championships. Uh, but Robbie Wayne is the captain of this team. He's made some critical interceptions, critical plays. He even, in their last national championship, he had the scoop and score against Baylor in season 11 uh, to clinch that game. So watch out for him. You've got Todd O'Connor. you got Max Williams. Uh, so some very speedy guys matching up. But corner may not matter all that much as ECU is primarily a run-first team. And in the back, Kevin Hurd might be the weakness of this defense. And Aaron Williams on the other side, slow but incredibly good. Their kicker is Eric Johnson. He's only a sophomore, and he's 14 of 20 on the year. And he is 80 and 81, so he should be pretty good. So with that being set, folks, we are set for an epic clash. As right after this game, the CFP committee will commence. And once we get our rankings, they will be released tomorrow on the Bull Stream, which will be at 4, or sorry, regular game day time, 7 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. We'll release all of the rankings. We'll release um, the, the full bracket, and then we'll immediately go into the user uh, bowl uh, selection. So you should catch that stream it's with a chance to pick your own bowl game. Um, but yeah, here we go, folks. And... 
the uh, the prediction for tonight is going to be relatively straightforward. Who's winning? Are you going to go with everybody on Instagram today? If you don't follow our Instagram, you should for some fun polls. So I also post daily over there with just whatever story is dominating. Um, you know, the, the stuff that's happening in the SFA. I post about the game day results, all that stuff. So just another way to interact with the SFA if you would like. Um, but who do you got? Clemson or East Carolina? If you are betting on this game, <laughs> good luck, folks, as it is going to be a... Let me pull it up here as the... As we get this down, but you got the Pirates are a three-point underdog here to Clemson, obviously. The over-under is 56 and a half. If you're betting on the first or on the first TD for ECU, it's Vanilla Vic plus 200, Christian Richard plus 250, and then wide receiver Alex Kilpatrick plus 800. And if you're betting on Clemson, you have uh, QB Walter Hearn plus 150. He loves to run the ball. Omar Woods coming back plus 350, and then the wide receiver Trent Freeman, which we've gotten accustomed to seeing in the end zone, plus 500. DH Baller loves to make a uh, an appearance on all of our streams. Welcome in, Fink. Mango is back. He, he left for a day, I don't know why, probably to avoid the FSU ridiculousness. I am not going to touch uniforms. I don't want any shenanigans. I'm giving myself the best chance to win tonight, folks. ECU is, on paper, the second best team in the country. Let's see if they can finally play like it. No, I am not going black, Nick. No, no, no. Those black uniforms always ruin my life. As on paper, we are the best defense in the country, and nobody can call me Mickey Mouse anymore playing an American conference. I have all ACC opponents. But the real question is ECU has a history of choking on the biggest stage, and they're coming into this week on a two-game bad stretch. They had the loss against North Carolina, and then they had the stumbling win 17-14 to in overtime against Missouri. Can they right the ship here today? And then for Clemson, obviously this is a team who's had some of the most clutch wins in SFA history. Think back to the Rose Bowl in Season 11 against Ohio State, the 98-yard scoop and score for Martin Black. Think about that Florida State comeback uh, from, from Season, I think that was 12, where... Uh, FSU put the ball on the ground from Martin Black, and then they returned it all the way. This is a team that always seems like they're going to lose, and they come up in the clutchest moments. That's why they are the best team in the SFA year after year. Who goes to the CFP as the number one seed, and who has to play a first-round game? You will have to see. We are here at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte. East Carolina playing in their first ACC title game at since moving up last offseason. And East Carolina will start out on defense. So we're going to see Clemson out here first. And here we go, folks. The ACC Championship kicks off. Oh, boy. Prayers for the notebook as we've got 30, uh, what is that? 36 minutes of epicness coming at you live. Walter Hearn coming out empty. Their first play, they're going to attack this weakness at in the secondary as they do a QB draw. Remember, Walter Hearn loves to run the rock. He has 92 speed. He is currently the favorite to win the Heisman. Christian Richard is number four right now as a finalist. So we'll see if he can make a case today. The only other player in the Heisman race playing today was EJ Irons, who put up an abysmal 32% completion percentage today in a, in a loss to Oklahoma. We got a handoff here. This is Omar Woods getting his first carry since the injury. Breaks a tackle. Gets two yards. So from, this is a ECU team who's kind of um, morphed over the years. Uh, secondary used to be by far our strongest suit. Now it's our front seven. So third and four here for Clemson on the first drive. Their first throw. No rush. Delivers a strike to the outside. Jeff Keys, they give him the first down. I don't know about that, folks. Can we get a review? Did he drag that foot? No review here early. So already ECU getting screwed out of their shoes as Clemson moves the chains to a wide open Jeff Keys working on 
Mickey Flames as now we get a handoff here and out they goes breaks away there goes Clemson they're gonna open up the game with a massive touchdown Ryan Hubbard the wide receiver I believe wide receiver number five going 60 plus not a good start if you're an ECU Pirate fan is this gonna be a long day for the Pirates Last time we saw them on game day was week one as they did beat Georgia Tech. But Clemson is a lot better than Georgia Tech. Relax, 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 relax. That's what I'm telling the team on the sideline. We've been here before. We know we can't stop the run. We never had. We've never been able to. Here we go. We need this offense to show up and show out. I know every one of our games is going to be an absolute offensive clash. I know my offense can score. The question has always been, can the defense score? Well, here comes Christian Richard and Vanilla Vic, arguably the best backfield duo in the country. Can they do something here? Down early, Christian Richard is going to throw it. He takes off and he's sacked. Tries to get out of the way, but Jason King takes him down. Remember, this is this is a uh, Clemson team that doesn't mess with your shit. Normally, ECU can rely on their talent and just play hero ball. That doesn't work against these best teams in the country. So now we're coming out empty. Vanilovic not on the field. Well, he's at, down there at the bottom of your screen. Richard over the middle finds his man. James O'Neill, the top receiver on the depth chart in terms of overall. I believe he's number four on the depth chart, though. So third and six now. It's a long game, folks. Dusty Dukes in motion, the tight end. Third and six. Can they get up? Can they keep the drive alive? He dumps that off. He thought about running, and he should have. Is Ryan DeBose, the redshirt freshman, catches over the middle. He can't break the tackle, and Clemson is feeling themselves early. This team dominates the ACC year after year since Miami fell off from the days of uh, of Matt Barkley. So Clemson has a chance to give uh, ECU the boot here early. I'm trying to avoid all of the shit I'd get if I get like a Buffalo game where they just dominate me. But let's see. Clemson here, Walter Hearn. What are they going to do here today? His second drive really didn't do much in that first drive. Just one throw. Hand off to Omar Woods up the middle and he goes down. We all know I'm the Lincoln Riley of the SFA. It's i bound to choke eventually. Second and four here. Walter Hearn hands it off again. Can the run defense make a stop? They do. I've worked so hard on this front seven over the last two or three years since that uh, season 10 Citrus Bowl where I got Tennessee ran for like over like 400 yards on my dome. Maybe it's just orange teams. Maybe I just don't match up against orange. As dumps that off. It's going to be a first down for Hubbard. But I'm liking the way the defense is responding. Making them earn every yard here. So we're about halfway through the first quarter. Plenty of time. No need to get stressed if you're an ECU fan. As that is a big time play in the backfield. Jordy. Or that's Dexter Glasscock. Yes, I did move him to right outside linebacker. So Dexter Glasscock is the right outside linebacker. I think his coverage is a bit better than Spencer's. That's why he moved him there. Three down linemen here. And I'm calling out Josiah Bird. Top of your screen on the line, number 13. He needs to have a big day. He gets chop block there over the middle. And he gets smoked. But hangs on. Juwan Sims. So all of these receivers making some plays here early. It's going to be a third and medium now. Can't count out the run. Obviously, at Clemson, you've got to have a spy against Walter Hearn. It's going to be a screen pass. And he gets sacked. That's Glasscock again. The, the one-star linebacker from Inglewood, Colorado, making his plays here today. A TFL and now a sack. And ECU gets the ball back. We are not done here, folks. So 
So ECU gets the ball back. That was a massive defensive series. He says, they're just going to let this one go. What are you doing, Ryan DeBose? I guess he lost it in the lights. We're at a big stadium. Some mental errors here from the special teams. We've never seen that happen. As now we start inside our own 10. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So now how's the offense going to respond? Finally, Vanilla Vic gets a carry, and there he goes. Vanilla Vic, and can he stay on his feet? No, he can't. 15 yards on his first touch of the day. And that was my biggest gripe in the semifinal last year is we did not let Vanilla Vic touch the ball enough. So I can't switch my playbook, so I have to just hope. So just hand the rock to Vanilla Vic. You'll be all right. All right, we're flipping the play. Remember, we've got to trust Christian Richard. A 99 overall quarterback. He is a sophomore now. He's not that young redshirt freshman anymore. Vanilovic hits another carry, and he gets smoked. I believe that's Lambert from the defense. He is the linebacker to fear in the middle. Second and six now. Pistol. Alex Kilpatrick still without a target. He is the best wide receiver on this team. Vanilla Vic up the gut, and he stays on his feet, gets to the second level again. That's what we need to do. Just hand it off to Vanilla. Let him cook. Bro, I make all the recruits. Of course I know where my guys' hometowns are. Not all of them, just the SF. Just, like, mainly the Colorado ones because... Obviously, it's where I grew up personally, and then I have the pipeline, so I know where the players I put are from, like Englewood, where uh, one of the places I lived. But I mean, we're continuing to run it now. Empty look here for Christian Richard. Let's keep it going. Four-man rush here. Wide open man on the sideline. I believe that's J.D. Gibson. No, Cedric Knoll. Not going to lie, I have no idea who Cedric Knoll is, but he's getting on the field and he's cooking. It might be my fullback. First and 10, Vanilovic gets the handoff. No, it's a play fake. Going deep, out of bounds. Christian Richard not cooking on that one. Didn't like what he saw. Saw the blitz coming. If we can just avoid the big turnovers, that was our big mistake. Pick, obviously, the piss six. And then the defensive uh, TD given up to uh, Ryan Grant against Buffalo. As a delayed give to Vanilla Vic, and he turns that into 10. Had contact about five yards in. Managed to get 10 out of it. Let him cook, baby. As ECU now is in rhythm inside the 35. Out empty on a third in inches. What are we doing? Well, Inglewood first is with a C, think. And it's not nearly as bad as we give a jet sweep to James O'Neill that goes nowhere. So question now, are we going to go for this or are we going to kick a field goal? And honestly, what the fuck are we doing? Why would you call that? Just hand it up. The We're punting! I can't. What is this game? Pin him deep. Nope, goes right into the end zone. Interesting call here. So you do a jet sweep, fourth and two. You don't go for it with the best running back in the country, and it's not even close. You've been running nine yards a carry. You don't hand it to him. Down 7-0. Clemson has the ball. Here comes Walter Hearn. Dumps it out of the backfield. Nice play there on the edge. That's Jordy Drake this time. Walter Hearn, a perfect start. Four for four. ECU taking a second to settle in. Normally, they jet out to quick leads in these game days, so we'll see if they're uh, different. Is Oh, he fakes the run and delivers a deep bomb. Wide open, man. That's Hubbard again. No one's over there. And they bring him down 51 yards for Ryan Hubbard. An excellent play design for Clemson. Broken coverage from ECU, and they're now in business.
And not going to lie, ECU has been to the playoff two years in a row, conference championships, but guess what? An ACC game against Clemson in a championship, this is a different level. ECU's not been on this kind of a stage before, and they need to settle down here. He yams a deep open, man. What are we doing? Clint! Touchdown, Clemson. They take a 14-0 lead. Unbelievable. Just the perfect start here for Clemson. As we almost get the blitz. And then Clint Kubiak just lost, juked out of his shoes. There's something with the lights going on. As both of our punt return man lost the ball. And now Clint Kubiak, the star senior. As we almost blocked the extra point. Oh boy, what is happening with ECU lately? Start out 11-0, lose the game. All of a sudden we are choking our ass off. All right, broken tackle. We can move the ball. We just got to get out of our own way. We know we can move the football. So what is this team going to do now after stumbling or fumbling that last drive? Uh, they, egregious. Uh, Christian Richard, though, he can run it himself. That's his first uh, big run of the day, six yards. Second and four here, plenty of time for ECU. Just run your offense. You'll be just fine. Second and four now. We gotta cover Hubbard, man. I that missing McCoy is really turning out to really screw us. As Christian Richard has some room on that left side. He gets through one. That's about nine yards. But Clemson early on exploiting our loss of McCoy. First and ten now. Hand off to Vanilla. And he gets about one after getting a big hit there in the middle. That's likely going to be the last play of the first quarter here in the ACC Championship. Hey, Fink. How was how that game against Texas Tech, my guy? <laughs> I love you, Fink. I'm sorry for the outburst. But at the end of one, it's 14-0. Clemson, the number one team in the country, is cooking. Are they on the way to another number one seed? Another path right through Atlanta and another championship. Thank you, Fink, at least for hoping it gets close. I'm all for that. I love you, Fink. No matter what happens to me, I know my SFA tenure is not as bad as Fink's. That's my only thing that allows me to sleep at night is Brian DeBo or James O'Neill, get yourself across that first down yard marker. That was a big time play. We would have punted it there. Huge. Keep the momentum going. Let's get a touchdown, boys. Come on. Christian Richard, he's cooking. Don't look at the score here. Let's go. Vanilla Vic on the counter. He negative yards. No, he push pushes one out of that. Really not liking what I'm seeing from some of the offensive linemen is they're kind of getting pushed back here. We're out empty here, Christian Richard. Second and nine. And that is a throw over the middle to Ryan DeBose, but unable to hit him in stride as he has to dive for it. So a third and long now. You, I would think this is two down territory, but you never know with this team. Third and seven now. It's going to be a screen pass. And oh, it's picked off again. There he goes. And they make the tackle. And they're trying to hit Mario Thurman. And all Christian Richard can think of is the semifinal from last year. And who else but Wayne, the captain of this defense. He always shows up. Clemson takes over. And you know what? At least we never had a shot, right? It's It always feels better when the doors are just blown off of you. Did you get a handoff? No. There goes Walter Hearn. He gets about five. And got to admit, man, this is not good. I mean, this is not good for anybody. As Clemson looks to be rolling, is this team unbeatable? Has got a bunch formation now. Walter Hearn. Handing it off. 
That's Omar Woods. He's really not done much. And Dexter Glasscock is the only man on this defense doing anything. Come on. Glasscock needs to fire up the defense here. Third and eight. A massive play early on. And they get a sack. Boom shakalaka, baby. Blake Womack, another Colorado commit. Off the edge, big time. They're going for the delayed screen to the left side. But they aren't going to get us with that fuddy-duddy BS this time. Here we go. ECU, so the, the interception does not hurt us. And I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. You know why? I am one of the highest scoring SFA teams in history. Vanilla Vic can rattle off an 80-yarder at the blink of an eye. I am not worried whatsoever. I trust this defense. I trust this offense. Let's let them cook. Come on, Christian Richard. He's getting all the picks out early. He's get a delayed give to Vanilla Vic, and he gets smoked in the backfield. That's three straight running plays, less than a yard. Josh Harris on the tackle. <laughs> 80 yards short on that one. Oh, I can't. All right, here we go. Come on. 299 overalls. Do something. Christian Richard, he's going to take off. Make a move. He slides. You know what? I'll take a slide over fumbling. Good job, Christian Richard. He learned from last year. Third and seven, though. We're one for four right now. Our defense keeping us in this. And honestly, this this is feeling like, like watching the... Um, like an exact replica of the Sun Belt Championship we watched a little early on. In uh, a big conversion, there he is, Alec Kilpatrick, the recruit I stole from Tennessee, the five-star baby. He makes a he makes a catch here. But this reminds me of the Sun Belt Championship, which you can watch later on tonight when I post the VOD. But uh, it, it, Georgia Southern jetted out to an early lead. Southern Miss did make a comeback. There goes Christian Richard, and he not sliding, but he gets a first down. Here come the Pirates. We're at the 50-yard line now. Five minutes left here in the second quarter. Plenty of time. ECU does get the ball after half as well, so always that opportunity to double up the defense. Delayed give to Vanilla Vic. Can he find a hole? No, he cannot. They are stacking him up at the line. And I got to be honest, we don't see that too often where Vanilla Vic is not getting a lot of room. And that's about five carries in a row now. He's done nothing. They're crowding the line of scrimmage. They're kind of begging Christian Richard to beat him through the air. Is they're going to get QB power here? And he gets nothing again. Clemson selling out for the run. Aaron Williams making the tackles in the backfield. Third and ten now. I love how you guys are, are I'm in the, co or, what is this, the, the, the stages of grief. Third and ten. Christian Richard here. Dumps off. I always hate it when he does that. But he gets it, and there's James O'Neal again. I put him in the floor. I believe the four wide receiver slot, and he's making some plays today all in the flats. We're not really stretching the field, but we'll take it. First and ten. Another big-time conversion for Christian Richard. He's starting to settle into a rhythm. Hand off to Vanilla Vic, trying to open up those running lanes. He gets three. That's his best carry since the first quarter. ECU's desperately trying to find a way here to get back into this game. Second and seven now. Flipping the play here. Richard is going to throw it. He's going deep. Open, man. There's Kilpatrick. ECU's back in it, baby. He burns the corner. And here come the Pirates. That is the team we know and love, folks. You run it, run it, run it, open the deep shot, and there it is. Big time. In the semifinal last year, Kilpatrick got the touchdown to go up 21-3, to and then we didn't score again. Let's hope this is the TD that sparks a comeback here. And you got 3 minutes, 35 seconds left here in the first half of the ACC Championship. Now we'll see how Clemson responds. This is their first time taking a negative. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. 
And that's another play to Hubbard. Unbelievable. All right, and now they're going to be in Wildcat here. Omar Woods, there he goes. Another big play for Clemson. J.R. Swain can't bring him down. No one can bring him down. Finally, Josiah Bird pushes him out. Omar Woods. What a play. First and 10 now across the 50 here for the Clemson Tigers, responding perfectly. ECU, the best defense in the country on paper, struggling here, but Trent Freeman goes down the backfield. Who again? Dexter Glasscock, his fourth TFL, along with a sack. He's been the only shining star on this defense here today. Second and 12 now. And that's a, another catch for Jeff Keyes, who's obviously out of bounds, but they're not even going to review it. Third and one here for Clemson. They get all the ref calls. Third and one now. They are two of four. Can we get a stop in this bunch formation? Sell out for the run. He is going to throw it. And he's holding on to the rock, Josiah Bird. No way! Walter Hearn falls forward for the first down. An unbelievable play from the Heisman hopeful. That one got the notebook a punch. Clemson still driving. An unbelievable display here from Walter Hearn. I cannot believe it. Cannot believe it. How do you break Josiah Bird, baby? All right, safety coming down. That's Liston. Free rusher. He gets the pass off. Another first down for Clemson. This is what we're saying in SFA history. Every time Clemson seems to be down and out, they make some ridiculous play. And here they go. They're inside the 30 once again, trying to extend their lead back to two scores. They bring it all out. Blitz. He fakes out one man. Finally, Josiah Bird makes a play. The star freshman trying to get some run here. Inside the 30, second and long now. Omar Woods has been the star running back since he's come back from injury. Hand off to Woods to the outside and brought down by the combination of John Cole, that fourth corner, the, the guy in for the uh, McCoy injury. So third and 13 now. This is the chance for ECU. Stop him to a field goal. They're in a little... Looks like dollar formation, and that's going to be a slant, and they're going to stop Jeff Keyes short. So Clemson not getting tricky. They're bringing out the field goal team here. It's going to be about 36-yarder from the center right on that ACC football. And it's no good! Wide left! ECU still down seven! They get some luck from the blue square gods! So ECU takes over now. They all of a sudden have some momentum. Richard, he dumps that off uh, to Dusty Dukes. That's going to be about three. 38 seconds. I, I would like them to push for a field goal here because you have the chance to double up, take the lead in the second half. But we'll see if they're cooking or not. Uh, Chris Richard, he breaks one. That was the animation, I believe, where he uh, fumbled against Buffalo. We're going to hurry it up here, not take a timeout. Remember, you don't want to give Clemson the ball back with any time. Richard takes off again. He's going to get a first down. Slide! Damn it! As he gets a massive hit. Thank God hangs onto the ball as we take a timeout. 14 seconds left, probably about 25, 30 yards away from a field goal. What is ECU cooking up here at the end of the half? It's going to be a screen pass to Vanilla Vic. It's nowhere to be seen, and he's going to fall forward. They're going to take that last timeout. ECU still trying to do something here. 65 yards away. They are in yam range. But man, Clemson making this look scary. Christian Richard 
Floats that out wide! Dusty Dukes, baby! 18 yards, gets out of bounds. That was a picture-perfect no-timeout play. As he get uh, 18 yards, get way closer. I don't think in range for a field goal, but a much closer chance at the uh, at the field or at the at the Hail Mary. So ECU does get the ball back after halftime. They have a chance here, 46 yards away. Can they get some blue square luck with a Hail Mary? End of half. Richard on the run, throws it cross. Barty hits his man. Mario Thurman is at the one. I can't believe it. Clemson survives. Unbelievable, Mario Thurman. Oh, that was the play. At the one. Oh, I can't. I can't. This game hates me year after year. It's always something. The Hail Mary doesn't work. Luckily, they get the ball, and what a first half that was. Clemson doing their thing. ECU showing some fight, not getting blown out. Number one versus number two. This is how it should be. Back and forth. Dude, Mario Thurman, man. I love him so much, too. Why? At the one. And what a play from Christian Richard on the run, still delivering a bomb. Oh, man. All right. I mean, this game, uh, yeah. somehow ECU has had more possession. It doesn't feel like it, but it makes sense considering all the big plays for Clemson. But very evenly matched both sides. I, it comes down to you got to get Vanilla Vic running the ball. If he cannot start figuring out his run game and start averaging 6-7 a carry, this team can't win. Will they get the ball back? They were just one yard short. And that's what Clemson does, dude. Anytime you think you have a, their number, they get so lucky. And it's not luck at this point. It's skill. They've somehow channeled... Um, clutch into a skill that they just do. It's unbelievable. All right. 18 minutes left here in Season 13 Conference Championships. ECU gets the rock. It's going to be a handoff here. That's Ryan DeBose, the redshirt freshman. He's still up. He's sandwiched. And it's only about two. This is going to be a ridiculous second half, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. Who is going to get the number one seed in the country? Hand off here, Vanilla Vic. There he goes down the left side, and he only gets three. And he's been unable to create extra yards because he keeps getting sandwiched with the crazy pursuit from all of these defenders. They've found a way to bottle up the most dynamic player in the country. Third and five now. Can ECU keep the drive alive? Nice pocket. He's yamming it deep. It's a floaty, and it gets tipped away by Kevin Hurd. Clemson it gets off the field here early on in the third quarter. Richards completed those in the past. He had, he had a chance, but it's going to be a, a, a couple plays and out, and that one almost blocked. And Clemson, of course, is going to field this cleanly. Because why wouldn't they? As Corey Cross gets about 11. And shout out to Corey Cross. This is a man who's played as the lead back for this team for better half of the year. He has over 1,000 yards, I think double-digit touchdowns. And he's willingly uh, being the, the second man as Omar Woods is coming back. So shout out to him being a team player. And that's what the Clemson, um, you know, Clemson's all about. As we get a play in the backfield, finally Clint Kubiak does something. The senior safety, God, come on, man. He's made plays before, uh, if we remember our, our that Baylor game kept us in it with a pick six. Needing the defense to do something here. J.R. Swain, where are you at, my man? Delayed give, and it's stuffed up by Josiah Bird off that right side. If Bird can start getting uh, some wins off that right side, man, could be having a good half. Just can't let Walter Hearn destroy us. It's third and 11. Somebody covers Sam Hubbard. Third and 11. Little bunch set, and Hearn's going to take off. Someone make a tackle! 
Yes! He doesn't glitch through. ECU survives. And they're going to get the ball back. Let's go. This game we know is going to be unbelievable. Jay Jettas, let me cook, man. If it's close in the fourth quarter, you know I go full full jabroni. But for now, I got to try to keep it at least somewhat professional here. Is East Carolina Vanilla Vic? Let's get unprofessional, my guy. No, that's not what I wanted. Wanted you to stiff you a couple men. Turn this stream rated R. Dude, get Martin Black out of here. I they they had his Hall of Fame ceremony here at halftime. Rallied up the 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 Clemson fans, so we're we're definitely in a hole here. She is the uh, the essence of Clemson football. Second and six. Christian Richard has time open. Man, first down. Ryan DeBose. You guys remember Ryan DeBose is a guy that actually gave ECU a recruiting fine as I accidentally used too many visits. Hand off. Christian Richard flips it out. That's okay. We get a flag now. What is this? This clipping? Oh, baby. We get some offsides. BJ Morris giving ECU the rock. I love it. I don't think I've ever seen offsides called in this game, but let's go. He must have glitched offsides or something. Maybe we caught him jumping. I wasn't watching. First and five here. ECU gets bailed out. Split back sets here. They're going to give it to Vanilla Vic. And can we get some blocking, folks? Please, somebody hold the block for even a second. Chip somebody. They just miss everyone. And Brandon Hines, shout out to the corner, man. Getting heavily involved in the run defense. Second and three now. It's going to be a long three here. And Vanilla Vic finally gets some room. Can he find the edge? He gets 10. His best run since the first quarter. Is that what starts to spring the, uh, the season 11 Heisman finalist? Richard over the middle. That's an open man on the slant. ECU just loves running the, the Denver Bronco offense where just short passes over the middle over and over again. It's all right. We'll cook. And Christian Richard quietly 13 of 16. Despite that one interception, having a day. Second and inches. He takes off. Can he get past? Nope. Ryland Magnusum gets the sack. There he is. The best uh, defender on this line. The in-game recruit. Working on uh, Gene Dallas, the center. Gets through. Finds Christian Richard. He has the speed. Takes him down. Third and medium. Big, big play from Clemson's best defensive lineman. Ah. Uh, Third and five now. I would like to think this is a four down territory, but no, it will probably punt it here. Let's get that first down. Christian Richard, he has time. A crossbody, Dusty Dukes. You hate that, and he's going to be short. Oh, are we going to punt this? Please, no. Yes, we're going for it. ECU getting aggressive. This is where champions are made. Fourth and three for East Carolina. They hand it off to Vanilla, up the middle, first down, ECU, finally doing something correct. Big time conversion, and the drive continues. Glade gave now to Vanilla Vic, can he find a hole? No, he does not. Another, that Clemson dominating this line of scrimmage here today. They haven't really gotten too many sacks, but the run game has been in incredible. Remember, the, the blueprint to beat ECU is to force Christian Richard to throw the ball. And that's what they've been able to do. Second and 11 now. Christian Richard trying to evade, and he just runs right into Wayne and gets blown up. Not sure what the play was there. You should have cut in. You had all the room in the world. Cut! Mm -hmm. Third and eight now. Okay, no Mac Jones comparisons over here. Third and eight now for Christian Richard. He has time. Delivers a strike. And there's Vanilla Vic, baby. Out of the backfield. He is just as dangerous. 
inside the 10. ECU can tie this game up as we're uh, over halfway through the court third quarter. Milovic takes the rock. He looks for the contact and goes down. Unable to create extra yards today. But ECU still in this game. Second and goal. It's been one hell of a drive. Can they punch this in to tie up the game? Safety's coming in. We're going to throw it here. Richard finds some run. Can he cut a field? He lowers the head down at the one. Unbelievable effort there. Powering through two defenders, but they mark him down at the one. Third and goal. Shotgun. What is the call? To tie the game. Hand off to Vanilla Vic. Touchdown, East Carolina. They tie up the football game. Erase a 14-point deficit. And folks, ECU on game day, notoriously, the third quarter has been our kryptonite. And this third quarter, we are winning. So I, I'm feeling good. I hate to say it, but in this bruising defensive battle, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And we know as soon as I start feeling good, I choke. So let's see what... How the SFA gods screw me this year. It may not be this. It may not be now. But it's definitely going to happen at some point over the next four or three or four game day games. First and ten here. Walter Hearn. He's done nothing since uh, since the end of that. Uh, or the start of the second quarter when they went up 14-0. Had some decent drives but not really able to convert. They almost got a field goal but missed wide left. Second and six now. Hand off Omar Woods. He finds some room. And th there's so many clips, so many videos of me, uh, you know, commentary cursing myself, obviously. Go watch the picks, the piss six from last season. But uh, still going to do it. Come on, Pirates. Eventually something has to break my way. Omar Woods, another big run. The, the run game's starting to open up here for him. Now averaging over four yards a carry. They can start running the ball. It, it opens up those deep passes again for Hearn. So this bunch formation yet again. Hearn at free rusher again, and we just can't get to him at some point. Why Why are we blitzing? We need the extra defender. Trent Freeman gets his second catch. He's 11 of 12 on the day. The one incompletion was a throwaway. First and 10 now. Hearn, they're across the 50. Another blitz. He takes off. He has room this time. Nobody on that right side. Josiah Bird back in coverage. Tracks him down with the pursuit. Remember, this is a guy who could play tight end in high school as well. So he has a bit of speed and movement to him. But second and two. No man's land here. Split back sets. Corey Cross on the field. Watch out. Could be a triple option or read option, I guess. Hearn keeps it. Gets about two or four. That's first down. 14 to 14. Can Clemson respond? They had a two score lead early on. It's been erased. Safety coming in. Quick option. Hearn keeps it. He goes down after about six. They're starting to just run it down our throats here. And I'm very happy with the running game out after that Hubbard run. Uh, we, we've been playing pretty well since then. Um, so we'll see. Second and four now. They're going to flip the play. Trent Freeman to top of your screen there. Jeff Keys to the inside. Bunch formation now. Hearn. That is a dump off to Keys and taken down from behind, but that's going to be a first down. Mark him there. So likely one more play here in the third quarter of the ACC Championship. Are they going to get the snap off? Yes, they do. It's going to be a handoff to Omar Woods. He has some room to the outside. Jordy Drake brings him down. So as we head to the fourth quarter here in the ACC Championship between number one and number two, 14-14, deadlocked. Who is going to get that number one seed? Clutch skills activated. They are going wildcat here to start the fourth quarter. Omar keeps, he runs through a man and he trips and just let him fall. J.R. Swain, what are you doing? 
Gave him an extra two yards there. ECU trying to stop him here. They've been great in the second half on third down. Can they get another stop? Third and two. Sell out the run. Sell out the run. Sell out. They're going to throw it. Play action fake. Don't listen to me. Hurd takes it up the middle. And he gets the first down. Unbelievable. Every other quarterback in the world trips over their own lineman there. Uh, cough, cough, Cardale. But uh, not Walter Hearn. He's just a superhero out here. Jeff Key's in the slot. Nobody covering him. Watch out for that. They bring another blitz. It's covered. Oh, that was the chance. Josiah Bird, he got to jump that. You have insane catching as a tight end. Oh, yeah, that would have been incredible. Second and goal. I don't know why we keep dropping Josiah Bird in the coverage, but split. Or not split. And you got three wide receivers to the left. Second and goal. They're going to delay give. Hearn keeps it. Touchdown. Clemson takes the lead here in the fourth quarter. They respond to ECU's touchdown. Unbelievable. What a drive from the Clemson Tigers. Showing ECU who runs the ACC. ECU obviously too much talk uh, from the media or from the world. Oh, was that blocked? No. Everyone's saying, is ECU now going to run the ACC for the foreseeable future? Is Clemson washed? They keep having close games. No, Clemson runs the show. It's Clemson until proven otherwise. We're trying to prove it here. Time to put on our big boy panties and get a touchdown. J.R. Swain, please! J.R.! Oh, J.R. Swain. We've ran nine more plays, more yards, more first downs, but less points. We have one more turnover. Safety incoming. They're selling out to stop the run. Mario Thurman, he didn't get the Hail Mary in the first half, and he goes minus three here. Unbelievable. Josh Harris off the edge. Second and 13 here. ECU dumps that one off. Yeah, has some room. A big-time block there. I think that was Alex Kilpatrick on the block, springing James O'Neill for a first down. Christian Richards, 16 of 19. If he could erase that one interception, they'd be cooking. First and 10. Plenty of time. Seven minutes in. A, oh my God. Trying to find Vanillovic. He got stuck on the offensive line. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Second and 10 here. Let's just forget that play is. Vanillovic finds the outside. Can he clinch it? Oh, he's still up. No. And Vanillovic, man, is he nursing an injury or what? He looks so slow there. He's so fast getting to the outside typically. Third and nine, ECU. Not quite desperation mode, but we're getting close. Richard dumps that off. Mario Thurman, he gets speared. Man. That linebacker caught both Thurman and Vanillovic in the crossfire. We're going for it! I love this call! Fourth and three on our own side of the 50. Big ball alert from Coach TC. Dusty Dukes to the slot. Hand it off to Vanillovic. Give it to your best player. First down, ECU! Unbelievable call. Does that flip the momentum? Here we go. They're editing the run. Is this where, is this uh, Christian Richards' masterpiece? He yams it open, man! Don't get caught, Mario! Touchdown, East Carolina! Thurman gets there this time, folks, as we got a tie ball game. Unbelievable sequence from ECU. The fourth down conversion on their own territory. And then the yam deep to Mario Thurman. To tie the game the extra point. What a call. Unbelievable. You know you if you if you know if you punt that ball back to Clemson, you're fucked. They're going to run the four-minute offense. Maybe you'll get the ball back inside two minutes. Or they're going to score and you're screwed. Unbelievable. Breathe life, baby. Corey Cross, Dexter Glasscock on the tackle. But we're under six minutes left with two of the best offenses in the country. And surprisingly, ECU has battled back with a pass offense. The run has been nowhere to be found today. 
Can they hold on on defense? This is where the number one defense in the country earns their stripes. Tackle in the backfield, Josiah Bird, the freshman, his third TFL of the second half. Second and 12, Walter Hearn, split back sets. They are so used to these moments. Delayed give, dumps it over the middle, that's Hubbard. Tackled by Jordy Drake, the middle linebacker. That could have springed a massive one. He's had himself a great day already. 66 yards through the air, and then that long TD on the ground to open it up. Third and seven. A massive chance for ECU's defense. Split backs. Delayed give. Omar. And it's fourth down. ECU's going to get the ball back. And a chance to take their first lead of the game here in the fourth quarter. Under five minutes to go. They're going to run as much time as possible off the clock. Going to get this ball with just under 4 minutes and 30 seconds left in the ball game. 21-21. Number one seed, a bye in the CFP on the line. Ryan DeBose gets tackled about his own 39 here. Four minutes. 24 seconds left from history. Their first year in the ACC. Can they go and win the whole damn thing? ECU, Christian Richard Vanilovic alone in the backfield. Richard keeps it. He finds some room to the outside. He finds some room. Breaks a tackle. Gets 10 out of bounds. First down, Christian Richard. Can they establish the run game here? Run some clock and score. Pistol time now, Dusty Dukes, hand on the ground. They make a move now, Dusty in motion. He's back to pass block. He's going to take off again. Christian Richard, he stiffies and he sacked. Gets maybe loss of one back to around. And that is the corner blitz. Brandon Hines, man was on a spy and gets the sack. This Clemson team, incredibly disciplined. Everybody knows where they need to be every single play. Second and 11 now. And now Clemson, all of a sudden, they got to be aware of the yam. They've get, given up two yams today. Second 11. It's going to be a screen pass to Vanilla. He gets it to him. What can Vanilla do in the open field? He's running. He's running. He's stiff. He's a man. There goes Vanilla Vic. Another stiffy inside the 10. 42 yards. Unbelievable moment there. Finally, Vic shows up. Here we go. And Cryo, did that just not did that just look like the uh, workman screen from the watch party? Inside the 10 to take the lead. 20 or uh, chance to go up seven points here. Christian Richard. Dusty Dukes in motion. Christian Richard. Out of the back of the end zone. He had a man. And every ECU fan is wincing. In season 10, Bo Wallace throwing over the middle interception inside the 10. In season 11, Dak getting sacked by Shad Boyko. What's Christian Richard going to do? He's hit in the backfield. Down goes Richard. It always seems to come down to ECU versus the red zone. Can they do it today? Third and forever now. Third and goal from the 11. The ECU Pirates split back formation. Mario Thurman, one-on-one -on -one in the bottom of your screen. Hand off to Vanilovic. He can't break the tackle, and it's going to be fourth and forever. And now we get a false start, making the field goal even farther. We get a, a false start now. Is ECU going to chaunt another field goal? From right hash, a 35-yarder. ECU fans can't rejoice. He hits it. They take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. Finally, finally, they convert late in the game, but can they hold on? Corey Cross on the return. Not like this, Corey. 
And he goes down. Dester Glasscock again! So here it is. Two minutes and 16 seconds. Clemson has three timeouts. The most clutch program in SFA history. Week after week, season after season. Against ECU, the most epic choke artist in the history of the SFA. 24-21 ECU leads. The script couldn't be set up any better. This is what national championship should feel like. Our championships always feel like a lackluster. So hopefully this year we get something similar to this. This has been great. Let's get a handoff now. Omar, he runs through a man. Of course he jukes out two. He gets one and gets a first down. What are we doing? They're going to hurry it up. A first down from Omar Woods bobbing and weaving through the defense. Hearn is throwing it. Dumps that one off, out of bounds. Three yards. Field goal sends it to overtime. Touchdown likely wins it. And man, would it have been nice to have that Hail Mary touchdown. Stopped at the one at the end of the half. Second and seven. Hearn has plenty of time over the middle. Wide open, man. That's Hubbard. Nobody can cover Hubbard. McCoy needs to get back. He's going to be out maybe a week with a knee sprain. In a week or two, he should be back for the playoff. First and 10, though. They're at the 50 now. They already missed one field goal today, though. Hearn. You going to take off, Josiah? He can't get him. There goes Hearn. He breaks one, and they stack him up at the first down. He's not going down. Nine yards from Hearn. Second and one. Yeah, this is what this is where the number one defense needs to earn their rank. Quick option, Jai picks wrong. Jordy Drake tries to hit him and they stuff him. It took a gaggle of pirates, but they did it. Light of fire skill activated. They are empty. Watch the QB draw. Third and one, 57 seconds. Here goes Hearn. He's going to take off. No! First down, Clemson. They are in fringe field goal range now, folks. 52 seconds left. Two timeouts. They're hurrying it up. I can't watch five wide receivers. This is awful. 48 seconds left. Clemson. Clemson. Over the middle. Wide open man. Of course there is. And he's going to be stopped short. And they have to use a timeout. That's huge. They're in field goal range now, but they can win this game. Second and inches, 40 seconds left. Who's going to make the play? It's going to be a screen pass. Omar Harris, somebody stop him! What are we doing, J.R. Swain? What are you doing, my guy? J.R. Swain, man, you're so clutch always. What was that? 36 seconds left, one timeout left, and they are empty. I'm going to be sick. First and 10. Hearn, perfect pocket, wide open. There's Hubbard. He goes down in the field of play. Clock is running. What? I guess they used the top. ECU's using timeouts. What are we doing? Second and three. You're just giving them more time to win the game. But they stuff them again. Omar Woods goes down. Clock is ticking now. Here we go. Third and two. They snap it. Hearn takes off. Can we stop him? And he somehow falls forward to the five. Are you kidding me? Not like this. It's a rehash of the Citrus Bowl. 15 seconds left. Please, please. Clemson drops back. Hearn. He takes off. Josiah Bird. Josiah Bird. Saves the number one seed. Saves the bye for ECU. To tie up the game and send it to OT. From right hash. 25 yards. A kick. And it's good. We're going to get some more football. I can't believe it. But the freshman, Josiah Bird, makes the play of the season. Keeps the Pirates in it. They avoid the devastating loss. And now, a return to end the game. Can we get some epic magic? Ryan DeBose. Ryan DeBose! Oh, baby, you could have split that. As we go to overtime here in the ACC Championship, arguably the two best teams in the country. Who is going to get the number one seed? Who's going to have to play an extra game? One of the best conference championships we've ever seen. ECU is going to start with the ball. 
This is where Vanilla Vic. Come on. Christian Richard takes off. He's sacked. Okay. Ryan Mag Magnusum gets the sack, his second of the day. It over time, looks like our scoreboard broke. That's okay. In terms of the stats and stuff. Man, are you sweating? I'm sweating over here. Oh, baby. It's playoff football season, baby. Christian Richard, Vanilla Vic in the backfield. Second and 11, Ryan DeBose across. They're going to do a jet sweep. What are you doing? Cut inside, Ryan. Third and forever now for East Carolina. This is shades of Michigan and Minnesota in the Big Ten Championship we saw earlier. Can ECU get a field goal or a, a, a score? Third and 13, please. Christian Richard, please. Over the middle, trying to Bose. And you've run three plays, none of them to Vanilla Vic. I am sick. Field goal unit is out. 44 yarder to take a lead. ECU. The kick is up. And it's good. ECU gets on the board here in the overtime frame. We will love to touch down, but we will take a score. What a game here, folks. Walter Hearn, can he have his Heisman moment? They come out empty. A touchdown wins it. Field goal ties it. Anything else, and ECU goes to the one seed. Hearn over the middle, and he finds his man, Hubbard. What a throw. Fits it right between Glasscock and the safety. First and goal for Clemson. Glasscock almost got there. First and goal. Game on the line. Here comes Clemson. Hearn and Woods in the backfield. Three down linemen. First and goal. Hubbard in motion. He's going to get the handoff. He got that first score. Can he get the winner? And he goes down inside the five. J.R. Swain, the game-saving tackle. Second and goal from the one. Bringing out the big nasties here on both sides. Can they get a goal line stop? The toss out left and wide open touchdown, Clemson. They win the ACC and they will go to the number one seed and earn themselves a bye. Unbelievable finish. Heartbreak once again for East Carolina. This is a team that just could never get over the hump. Oh, unbelievable, wide open play, never had a chance in overtime. The play calling you get after that hype play from Josiah Bird, you run it with no one but Vanilla Vic! Walter Hearn, they are 13-0, he's likely going to win the Heisman. An unbelievable game from him as they hoist the ACC championship here in Charlotte. ECU fans are sick, but they're looking hopefully to a CFP berth and hope, hoping that they get the choke out of the way early on. 30 to 27 here in overtime in the ACC championship. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and next time you see me, we'll be in the CFP slash bowl season. Hype. All right. End of the video. Oh, I'm disappointed. That sucked. There's just like no hope there at the end, man. You get the epic stop and all of a sudden your offense does that. You dominate the second half. It's like, what, what are we doing? And Clemson gets the three-point cover. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, from 14-0, this is I would have taken an overtime game. Absolutely. This is a different kind of game. I'm happy that we showed that we can come back in games because most of the time it's we get up to a big lead and then we don't know how to hold it. So let's see how this one finished out. Obviously, that 55-yard run in Trent Freeman early on killed us, but we got a few yams, and obviously the Hail Mary hurt desperately. Would have loved for us to win the game there at the end where we had the momentum, but we just couldn't do it in overtime. A toss play beats us. 
Walter Hearn, likely your Heisman Trophy winner, 226 yards, 1 TD, 95 completion rate. I am sick. Hearn for 50 yards as well, another touchdown. And Hubbard, surprisingly, we got to watch out for him in the, uh, the CFP, man. He was electric today. And I feel like it was a massive loss for the McCoy injury for our secondary because that's the third-string corner facing him. And, uh, I mean, two sacks for Newsom and King. It's just we, we couldn't run the ball. When you can't run the ball with Vanilla, it's like our whole offense. We got lucky with the missed field goal, though, so that kind of erases the Hail Mary, I guess. Christian Richard, I'm not even going to lie. This is one of the better games we've ever seen him play on, uh, like, a game day. 20 for 25, 302 yards, like, really great passing the ball. When, they're, when we're being forced to pass the ball, he actually showed up. Luckily, that interception didn't hurt us. Um, Vanilla Vic, though, 84 yards. That is the absolute killer, man. Got to have a better game than that. Mario Thurman, man, fantastic game. Love him. Dusty Dukes with some pancakes. And then Jordy Drake and Dexter Glasscock, my middle linebacker showing up. Josiah Bird, that sack on the fourth down, that is, oh, I wish we would have won. That would have been so epic. Well, that was a great play anyways. But Blake Womack got a sack as well. As ECU hopefully looks for a uh, CFP bid. We'll have to see what the committee says. Um, but I feel more confident after watching this game with them, after uh, those choke couple of losses to end this end the um, to end the week or end the season, then the close call with uh, with 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 Missouri. Um, so playoff committee, don't talk to anyone. Just head to VC. I'm gonna post all the game results, and then we will get to our to our rankings. And then remember, guys, uh, is that the uh, that the um, CFP rankings will come out tomorrow. Recruits will still come out tonight, probably a little later, as I don't know how long deliberations are going to be. Um, this was a great game. Could be blown out. Mills, Arizona, ECU, finally playing strong when it matters. Yeah. I mean, f fuck Clemson, man. They're always just, they're impossible to beat. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching an epic day. We had three streams today. My voice is in shambles. And another EC loss. Obviously, I'm salty. Um, but we're, we got work to do. Uh, remember, playoff rankings are going to be released on, um, not tonight, but on stream tomorrow. And that same stream, all you bowl-eligible teams will get to see where you wind up and who your matchup is going to be. So thank you guys all for watching, as always. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Peace.